chosen vessels what's the deal it's your main man drew tube and i'm back at you again with another video i need each and every vessel to hit that like button share button and don't forget to subscribe salute to drew nation the gcvs and the galactic family let's hop right into it look God is about to bless you with a master plan that is about to change your whole entire situation for the better. Let's hop right into it. Look, some of you have been going through a lot. All right. It seems like no matter how hard you try, it's always something to try to get in the way of your trying. And a, a lot of it is some things that you can explain, some things it, it feels like it's some things that are unexplainable because some of you feel like it, it's something that like a force that just keeps getting in the way and just that's just disruptive. But I want to let you know that no matter how bad things get or no matter how uh, uh, bad things may look, God still has a plan for you. All right. And I want to let you know that your life is about to change for the better. All right. God doesn't just have a plan for you. He's got a master plan for you. And it's a and he's about to bless you with it. And I want to let you know why. All right. When you uh when you love God and you want to succeed in life and you don't take a shortcut, you don't take a, a bad route, you don't um go to do any uh any unconventional ways of trying to become successful, you know, um, you don't go to do anything that would be uh, against his will for you. That's how you know that God has a master plan for your life because you're patient. All right. You're patient and you will wait on the Lord. You'll wait for a money making idea. You'll wait for a response from God. You'll wait for an opportunity to come into your life. You'll wait for a door to open. All right. And when you wait on God, good things come to you. Good things come to those who wait. So that's how you know that God has a master plan for your life. You're becoming patient. You're not allowing um, things that are going on around you to get to you or disturb you. All right. You're, you're doing your best. You may not be perfect at it. You may be getting better at it. All right. Right now, you may not even be good at it. But if you're aware of it, that you know you need to not let things get to you and you need to focus on what God is trying to do for you, guess what? God's got a plan for you in your life, all right? So I'm telling you now, this is your confirmation to start to focus on what God is doing for you and less on what others are doing around you and are trying to do to you or the negativity that they may be trying to cause for you, all right? When you, are, uh, when you draw a lot of attention from being chosen, and people are aware that you're focused on yourself, it's going to be things that people do to possibly try to get in the way of that. All right? They're going to try to let you know that they're there. They're going to do things to let you know that um, they, they know that you got something going on and they don't like it kind of thing. So what you're going to have to do is focus on God's plan for your life. All right. And that's another sign. When people are becoming disruptive, when people are becoming disruptive in your life and it feels like um, things are it feels like uh, there's like out, outside forces trying to, to uh, stop you from succeeding or or things maybe or things or people maybe trying to get in the way of you moving forward in life. That is a sure sign that God has a plan for you. It's like no matter how hard you try, no matter how many jobs you go to. No matter how many places you may try to work, you keep experiencing the same thing over and over again to the point where people think you the problem. Oh, yeah, they think you the problem. People think you people think you're a liar. People think that you're not being honest. They think you're not telling the truth about your experiences that you have when you're at these jobs. So that is another sign. All right. That God has a plan, a master plan for you. You can't find a work home anywhere. That's because you're not meant to have a work home. Chosen ones aren't meant to have a work home. We're not meant to stay at a job for long. We're not meant to uh, be at a job for a long time like other people. We're not meant to work a job. We have a purpose on our on our life, and we have uh, a calling on our life from God, and we're supposed to carry out 
that uh, purpose and that calling on our life. So it's something that you're supposed to be successful at, and it's something that you're supposed to go out and be great at. So if you have the feeling that there's something that you're supposed to be doing with your time, if you feel like you're supposed to be learning, if you feel like you're supposed to be uh, elevating in life or, or making some type of changes, then that's a sign that God has a plan in your life and he wants to use you to do something for him. He wants to use you for something greater than just going to work, something greater than just uh, having an average normal life. God wants to use you for something uh, magnificent, for something great. All right. And he's going to uh, use the plan in your life for him to be able to do that. All right. So you have to know that just because it feels like um, things may not be going your way, if it feels like nothing is working out, if it feels like uh, things aren't um, moving as you would want them to, you see motion in everybody else's life. You see this person, uh, their business is jumping. This person's business is jumping. That person's uh, business is jumping. All right. You see this person successful. It feels like everybody else is winning except for you. I just want to let you know that you're not left out from winning. Don't feel like a loser because if it feels like everybody else is winning around you except you, you still have to have the feeling of a winner. That's a true winner. All right. That's somebody that's not a hater. That's somebody that is successful already, regardless of where they're at in life, regardless of what their situation is, their condition, whatever uh, materials they have, what they have, what they don't have. That's somebody that sees themselves successful. And that's another sign. You're grateful regardless of whatever is going on in your life. You may be, you may be in a season you may be coming out of a season of lack right now and stepping into a season of abundance. But guess what? There's God has a plan for you, all right? Especially if you start to see yourself stepping out of lack and into a season of abundance. You start to see things working out for you. You start to see that that well used to be dry now starting to puddle up. It's just some 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 water starting to form in it. It may, may not be uh, ankle high, may just be, be may be able to just splash in it. Or you may just be able to splash in it, but it's better than just stepping on dirt. Before you was just stepping on dirt, wondering where the water was at. Now you're stepping on dirt. You're like, oh, okay, I, I, I see you. I see you. Okay, I, I, I see what I see what you're doing here, God. I see what you're doing. All right. So now you, you you're getting your feet wet. All right, you're getting your feet wet. That is a sign that God has a plan for you. Whatever you uh, desire to be, whatever goals you want, whatever aspirations you have, whatever you want to be successful in, that area, you're starting to get your feet wet. You're not worried about how uh, people are going to perceive you. You're not worried about how people are going to take you. You're not worried about what some, someone might have to say about what you're doing. You're focused. You're uh, you're um grinding you're uh ambitious you got a, a mindset uh, uh geared towards success and you're, you're you're not letting yourself or anybody's opinion hold you back all right so that is another sign all right that you're, you're grateful you have gratitude um things may work out things may not work out you're still going to be able to find peace you're still going to be able to to be happy all right because regardless uh, of what you have or what you don't have, you know that you can be happy right here and right now, regardless of what's going on in your life, whatever is working, whatever is not working, you know that things are eventually going to work out. So you're grateful, you're happy, you see the light at the end of the tunnel, you're um, consistently working and your, your, your tree may not be uh, bearing fruit yet, but you see the buds, all right? So you're starting to have a positive outlook on your future. You're starting to see things get better before they even get better, all right? You're starting to uh, have daydreams and visions and dreams of, of things working out for you, of, of living in that house, of driving that car, of, of, of being next to that special person, all right? Of, of having that amount of money in your bank account, um, things are starting to work out for you and you're starting to feel better about the work that you're putting in. You're, you're grateful. You may not be where you want to be yet, but you're grateful that you could even work on it. You're grateful that uh, God even chose you for it. You're grateful that you even have the gift. All right. You're, you're grateful for everything that you have right now, even though things aren't the way you want them to be. You know, deep down inside that one day they're going to be the way they should be because you can see that with your mind's eye. All right. And and and, and the Bible even proves that. All right. Uh, here we go. God created for us. 
uh, now nah, I'm not going to say that one yet. That's the one I want. Um, there we go. Psalm 32, 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. All right. So God is, is uh, putting what he wants you to do in you already. So you already have a feeling for what you want to do. All right. You already have that, that, um, that drive for something that you are passionate about. So what you have to do is you have to take that drive for what you're passionate about and actually do something with that. Don't just sit around in the driver's seat. Take that drive and go somewhere. All right. Take this show on the road. Do something with your gift. All right. Because God wants to use that as a plan for you. All right. Because Jeremiah 29, 11, it says, for I know the plans I have for you. I have, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Uh, he plans to prosper. Uh, plans. I'm jacking this one all up. Just all out, all, all out of excitement though. All right. Uh, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. All right. Plans to give you hope and a future. So if you if you feel if you feel down, if you feel um, depressed, if you feel like no matter how hard you tried, it just feels like, yo, nothing is working. I tried this, Drew. I tried that, Drew. I did this. I did that. I did everything that I possibly could. I'm ready to give up. I don't feel like doing this no more. I'm done. When you feel like that, yo, I know the plans I have for you. God knows the plans that he has for you. So you just have to have faith. You got to be patient, but you also have to know that God has plans for you. All right. Things may not get better immediately. Things may not work out right away. They not they may not change immediately uh, how you want them to. But knowing that God has a plan for you, that gives you hope. All right. That's supposed to turn something on in your mind. That's supposed to um, make you have that gratitude. All right. So that way you could have create a better uh, outlook for yourself. All right. Because your gratitude, like Kanye said, your gratitude determines your latitude. I'm fly is a, all right, so yeah, gratitude determines your latitude, all right, so when you have gratitude, you're operating from a higher point of view, all right, you're operating from a, 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 a better view of yourself, a better view of life, you're not looking at yourself from a lowly point, you're not looking at yourself as, as, as dust, all right, you're looking at yourself a, as the crust, all right, as as on the top all right look at yourself as the crust the, what is it what's where's the crust on top the pie and the cream is right there all right so you want you want to be the crust you want to be on top with the cream baby you want the cream all right you want the cream cream all right you want the cream for that dream cash rules everything around me cream get the bills y'all uh cream get that mm, cream get the money dollar dollar bill y'all god wants to prosper you all right plans to prosper you. God wants you to have that cream for that dream. All right. God doesn't want uh, anybody that believes in him to be poor or broke or be despaired out here. So that's another sign that you're um, aware that God is about to bless you with a, a master plan. That's another sign God's about to bless you with a master plan. You start to realize what God actually wants for you. He doesn't want you to suffer. He doesn't want you to be poor. All right. He doesn't want you to, uh, could, continue suffering you're supposed to go through your suffering take from that experience learn from it and and be able to communicate with god what you want him to do how you want him to make changes for you in your life all right and you're supposed to wait and be patient and be grateful and um keep working towards you uh getting to where you want to get and keep working towards god blessing you all right. So when you keep working towards the blessing that you want from him, you're going to start to see little bits and pieces of it start to manifest in your life. All right. That's what I meant by you. Uh, God will fill your well, but you'll start to see a little bit of uh, you'll start to see a little bit of water start to form. So it may not be knee high, it may not be thigh high, it may not be up to your waist where you would want. You see everybody else. They're swimming around and there's they're splashing, having pool parties, throwing a uh the the uh uh what they what do they call it throwing the um 
gosh, it's been a long time. I don't even remember what they call them things. I was about to call it a water ball, throwing a beach ball back and forth. They chilling in the inner tube. Hey, look at us, Drew, in our water. Hey, yeah, we're chilling. Hey, they even playing the water song. Got the uh, ladies up there dancing and all that. Uh, uh, you know, they got their water. You over there standing in the, in in the, in, the, in your well, and all you can do is splash your feet around. But don't let that discourage you. And that's another sign that God has a plan for you. You're not letting anything discourage you. Nothing can discourage you. Not his success, her success, their success. You're the type of person that you let other people's success motivate you. You're not going to let their success uh, discourage you or turn you into a hater or anything like that. All right. God says, I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. God has his eyes on us. All right. All those feelings toward all those feelings about you wanting to be successful, all those, all that eagerness to want to go do that particular thing you're passionate about. All right. Where do you think you're getting that from? All right. God is instructing you. All right. And the God is teaching you and instructing you in the way you should go because his eye is upon you. All right. He's, he's speaking to you through your mind and he's, he's communicating to you through your spirit. All right. You, the, the feelings that you get about what you go to do in life. All right. Whatever you have a, a, a passion for, whatever you have a, a zeal for, that's what, where you're supposed to be going. That's your purpose. That's the calling on your life. And you're supposed to step into that with faith, okay? Because God is instructing you by giving you the, the, the urge to want to do that anyway. That desire for you to want to go be successful in that area is God wanting to be uh, experience success in that area through you, all right? So trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. If you feel that you're not sure where to go in life, trust in the Lord. All right. If you feel that um, you're not headed in the right direction, trust in the Lord. He'll make your path straight. Lean not on your own understanding. All right. Don't lean on your own understanding. Things aren't going to be all right because you say they're going to be all right. Things are going to be all right because you trust in the Lord. Things are going to be all right because you have faith that God's going to make them all right. All right. God's going to make things for you all right. And God in you is going to make everything all right. All right. So you have faith in the God in yourself as well. All right. Not just some some God that you just think there's no accountability for yourself or there's no responsibility or nothing you have to do. All right. That's not what we're talking about over here. All right. We, we believe in a God that once we take accountability and action and take steps and move forward in life, he'll open doors, he'll bless us, he'll lead us and guide us. All right. You can only be guided if you're moving. You can't just be, you can't sit on the couch and just be like, God, guide me and not get up and go nowhere. All right. Proverbs 16, 9, God creates for us good works. He has a plan for our individual lives. God has a plan for our individual lives. So if you're down and distraught, if you're down and depressed, if you're down in the dumps, if you feel that you have no purpose, if you feel you have no life, if you feel that this is the end for you, if, if you feel that you can't keep going on or you can't keep moving forward, guess what? You got to get up, all right? When thou art cast down, there is lifting up. You got to lift yourself up if, you, if, if you've been cast down. And if you cast yourself down, stop casting yourself down, all right? Because God has a plan for you, all right? And, and, and good, God causes all things to work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose, all right? We're all called according to God's purpose, but not many people answer that call. All right. So when you love God, when you love good, all right, there's going to be good things that happen to you for God and for good. All right. Because you're called according to his purpose. So you have to step out on faith. You have to believe in yourself. You can't be afraid of what people are going to say, of how people are going to take you, of their opinion, what they're going to think. You have to know that God has a plan for you and whatever you're going to do is going to work out. You got to trust and, and, and know that. You have to know and believe that, yo, this is going to work out. I know this is going to work. Whatever I do is going to work. 
because I include God in it. And that's why you trust in the Lord and lean not on your own understanding. You incorporate God with everything you do and you'll never lose. And not when things get bad, not when things are starting to look ugly, not when you're starting to suffer in the beginning, in the in the beginning, whatever he said, in the beginning, all right, in the beginning. You incorporate God when everything is good. That way he'll be around to see and possibly even help and prevent when things go bad or go wrong, God forbid. All right. So God causes all things to work for those who are, um, for those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. If you're watching this video, I guarantee you, you've been called according to the purpose of God. All right. So whatever that feeling that you uh, want to do, whatever that thing you're passionate about, whatever you love to do, go do that and believe that you have everything that you need to pursue it. All right. Um, this has been another Drew Tube special. Shout out to the Chosen Vessels. I'll see you all in the next video. Everybody hit that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. All right. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace, love, and light. Drew Tube out. Shout out to the Galactic family. Peace. We out. So yes, everything that you were going through, all that's about to change. And those are signs that whatever you are going through, God has a plan for you. So it's okay to feel like things may not work out, but when you start to feel like that, that's a sign that you're thinking incorrectly because that, that your faith determines, your faith should determine how you think. And People will say they have faith, but when you listen to them speak and when you hear them talk, you won't hear it. So when you have faith, your thoughts should dictate that, your action should dictate that, your belief should dictate that. And if it's not, you have to do some inner self work. So when you have faith, the things that you think have to coincide with that. They have to be in alignment with uh, your faith. So when you know that God has a master plan for you, you're going to think like that. You're going to think according to that master plan. You're going to have hope that God is going to do something for you. And not just a a, a, a hope that is a, like you're going to have hope for something that may never come. You have a strong faith. You can see in your mind what is going to happen because you already know what you're interested in. You already know what you got what you want God to do for you. And if not, you need to communicate that to him. So that way your faith will be a little stronger. That way you're, you'll be hoping for something concrete, not just having a hope for God to do something that you haven't even communicated to him what you want him to do. All right. So you have to communicate to God what you want him to do for you. And that is another sign that God is going to have a master plan for you, that he has a master plan for you, that he wants to bless you with a master plan. He is, is trying to turn something on in you to get you to communicate to him. He's trying to turn something on in you to get you to communicate to him. So that way he can figure out what it is you want. All right. Because God wants to give you what you want. When you, when you turn in, when you turn within, when you go towards the kingdom of heaven, he says, go, go within, go towards the kingdom of heaven and all these things shall be added unto you. All right. When you go uh, towards the kingdom of heaven, all these things shall be added unto you. All right. So you have to enter the kingdom of heaven. All right. You got to enter into your mind. You got to go within. You got to communicate to God. All right. Ask him to guide you, ask him to lead you, ask him for the right, proper plan. All right. That is a sure fire sign that, you know, God is about to bless you with a master plan. You've asked him, you've prayed to him. You've came to him on several occasions. You've asked God to help you with your finances. You've asked God to help you increase, increase the money that comes into your bank account. You've asked God to increase the money that comes into your life. You've asked God how to, to show you how to become financially free. You've asked God to lead you in a direction that is towards your calling and towards your purpose. That's how you know God's about to bless you with a master plan. All right, God's not going to leave you nor forsake you. And when you when you're when you're doing something for Him, when you love Him, and you're, uh, you want to do, do, uh, good works. All right. God wants to bless you. All right. So let, don't let your good works be in vain by not, um, 
picking up the calling on your life by not uh, knowing that God has a plan for you, by not knowing that um, you're not just alive just to, to suffer and to go through hell and to, to not get what you want and to have bad experiences. All right, you don't have to hit the lottery to be successful. You don't have to be somebody on TV. You don't have to be related to somebody famous. You don't have to have good things already going for you for you to have something good happen for you and come into your life. You just have to be grateful for what you already have and, and know that better is coming. All right, you have to know that better is coming. You have to know that God has plans for you. It says Jeremiah 29, 11. And what is important about that, I don't want to leave that off. What's important about Jeremiah 29, 11 is that that's 11, 11. So you, you, you're speaking things into existence, 11, 11. I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you. If God wants to prosper, you say that, speak that. God wants to prosper me. When you know that God wants to prosper you, all right, you know that God is about to bless you with a master plan. All right, that's going to change your entire situation. If you know God wants to bless, uh, bless you and God has plans to prosper you, you know without a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt, a surefire sign that God is going to, um, to, to bless you because he has a plan for your life, all right? You don't have to worry. There's no need to worry. A lot of us are anxious for nothing. A lot of us are worrying for nothing. If we would just accept and, and chill out and, and dwell in the secret place of the Most High and know that God has a plan for us, that would alleviate a lot of problems, a lot of day-to-day -day issues. That would take a lot of weight off your shoulders. You'd be, you'd be a totally different person when you went to work. If you knew that God had a plan for you, no matter what them people try to do to you, see, they want to create a hostile environment. They want to intimidate you. So when you go there, you're on eggshells. So when things happen, you're tense and you're ready to react. You're, you're, you're so tight because you're so worried about this. You're so worried about how you're going to take care of your kids, your family, your job, your rent, your, your bills, everything. But God will provide. God has a plan for you. If you knew that, you wouldn't even stress those things. No matter what the enemy will try to do, God has a plan for you. Know that, believe that, trust in that. Sit on that, stand on that. You want to stand on business, stand on that business. All right, because I have a plan for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. God doesn't want to harm you. The enemy may try to harm you. It's not, it's not any of God's doing. The, the world is wicked, but that's not any of God's doing. Things that may happen to you come into your life. It feels like God may be punishing you. That's not him. That's not of God's doing. God doesn't have plans to harm us. God has plans to prosper us, to give you a hope and a future. All right, so trust in the Lord because he came to give you a hope and a future. Trust in the Lord and lean not on your own understanding. Your own understanding may be, I'm never going to get out of this. Your own understanding is, man, I don't think this is going to work out. We've all been there. I don't think this is going to work out. Some of us was there last week, man. I don't think this is going to work out. Trust in the Lord because he has a plan for you, plans to prosper you. Money's running out of your bank account. You, you, you're looking at 13 cents, 25 cents, $2. Guess what? Don't worry about none of that. God has a plan to prosper you. God has a plan for your future. All right. God knows what you're going through. He sees what you're going through. He already knew what you were going to go through before you went through it. So Jeremiah 29, 11, speaking into existence, man, God has a plan for me. God has a plan for me. I know things are going to work out for me. I know everything is going to work out for me. I know my life is going to move in a positive direction. I have hope for myself. I have hope for my future. I have hope for my life. I'm going to stay positive. I'm not, I'm not going to let things weigh me down because I'm going to trust in the Lord and I'm not going to lean on my own understanding. Your own understanding is what's of the world. It may be a financial crisis. It may be a recession. It may be whatever they say it is. But guess what? Trust in the Lord and not on your own understanding because regardless of world conditions, you're, you're still going to be financially successful. Regardless of your condition, you can still be financially successful. Regardless of anything that's going on, you can have whatever you want. And you will have whatever you want. 
because you are the type of person that knows God has a plan for me. And he's about to bless you with a master plan. Modus operandi. All right. Thank you, God, for our modus operandi. Everything is about to change for you for the better. All right. Things are going to change that it didn't look like they were going to change. Things are about to get better that it didn't look like they were going to get better. You didn't know how things were going to change for you. You didn't know uh, uh, when things were going to get better. You didn't know when the storm was going to end. Umbrella all blowing around, turned inside out, inside out. Um, umbrella turned inside out. Might even got might 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 have even got um uh, uh uh blown away by a windstorm. But you were able to hold on to a tree. You were able to hold on to a rock. That was your faith. That strength. That things were going to be all right. So even when it seems like you're about to get blown away, guess what? A table will be prepared in the presence of your enemies. Those negative thoughts. Don't don't let your negative thoughts. Don't get blown away in negative thinking. All right, don't get blown away in negative thinking. Don't let the negative thoughts blow you away. Trust in the Lord, all right? He will instruct you. He will teach you. Things are going to work out for you. Know that and trust that. You got to get those evil thoughts out of your mind of things not working out, things not getting better, things not improving, you not being able to, to live where you want, you not being able to have what you want because of where you're at, what you've gone through, present circumstances, environment, income. None of that matters when it comes to the Lord. All right. So you got to know that he has plans for you. God created us for good works. He didn't create us to be poor. He didn't create us to suffer. He didn't create us to struggle. He created us for good works. All right. And he has a plan for our individual lives. All right, and, and, and God causes all things to work together for good to those who love God. So if you love God, guess what? I want to tell you right now, they may hate you for it. They may fired you for it. They may got rid of you for it. They may not like your glow. They may not like that positive energy that you bring to the table. But guess what? God causes all things to work together for those who love him. They may hate you. They may want to get rid of you. They may want to destroy you. But guess what? God loves you. He's going to cause some things to work out for you according to his purpose. That job let me go. It wasn't according to his purpose. That person broke your heart. It wasn't according to your purpose, to his purpose. That person broke up with you. It wasn't according to his purpose. They, they cut the contract and now they don't want to do business with you no more. It wasn't according to his purpose. They said they moved on and they found they were going to uh, take their business elsewhere. It wasn't according to his purpose. They said they, they, they were going to move on looking for another employee. It wasn't according to his purpose. You didn't get that letter from that, that college. It wasn't according to his, to his purpose. You didn't get that letter from that school, that scholarship. It wasn't according to his purpose. Don't give up, though. He has a plan for you. You feel if you feel in your heart of hearts, what you're supposed to be doing is what you're supposed to be doing. Guess what? God got a plan for you and you're going to make it. You're going to make it so much you won't even believe it when it happens. You, you'll be struck in utter belief. But make sure you have it in your mind. Make sure you've accepted it for yourself in your mind. So that way the evil thoughts won't be able to come snatch it away from you. All right. Because God wants to bless you with a master plan that's going to change your entire situation. You may have thought that things would never get better for you. Trust me, we've all been there. We've all been in that one place in our mind, all right, we're, 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 where, it, and that's a worse place than you could be in any type of environment. If you're in a bad place, if you're in a bad state of mind, that's even worse than a, a bad environment. That's even worse than a bad place to live. It's all about where you are at mentally. That's how people that's how people will make it out of bad environments and make it out of hell. Because of what their mind is able to focus on. Your mind is strong and you are strong. You are a strong-minded individual. You are a tough-minded individual. A brave-minded individual. Somebody that God most definitely has a plan for. He, he's not going to leave you nor forsake you. It may seem like everybody else is getting ahead and things are working for them and working out for them, but God didn't forget about you. 
I'm t- I'm telling you right now, God didn't forget about you. The person who who uh he the person who's always praying to him, always talking to him, always going to him. He didn't. How, how could he forget about you? He just wants you to know that he's about to bless you and things everything's going to work out. He just needs you to focus on that everything working out. Everything is going to work out. Everything works out for your greater good. He needs you to 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 work on that and 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 believe that and focus on that and keep saying that, keep speaking that. For that Jeremiah 29 11, 11. 2 plus 9 is 11. All right? That's 11 11 whether you like it or not. So keep speaking positive things into existence about your future. Keep knowing that God has a plan for you. He wants to prosper you. He wants to bless you regardless of what things look like, regardless of how much you're being paid, regardless if they just let you go, regardless if they didn't call you back, regardless if they didn't hire you, regardless if she don't want you, regardless if he don't want you, regardless if they don't want you. All right. All right. Family, friends, whoever. All right. You are going to prosper and things are going to work out for your favor. All right. Because you love God and you put him first. I'd like to thank everybody for watching this video. Smash that like button, smash that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Peace, love, and light. We out.